Okay, now we go back to where was the beginning of white supremacy. And so, therefore, if somebody who is called Arab, what's, what's the definition of an Arab? What exactly is an Arab? And more importantly, what color is an Arab? What color is an Arab? What color is an Arab? So if we're dealing in colors, it always goes back to white supremacy. That's the only way you can say is the root of it. You wouldn't have a color system, period, without a white supremacy system, because that's the only system that's ever existed when you start talking about colors. So if you're talking about yellow people, see, Chinese is, you know, Chinese is a, a culture, you might say, things that people do uh, in, as far as language is concerned, mm -hmm. and then things like that. See, so when you say Chinese, even among Chinese, you have things like Mandarin language. And so Chinese will have squabbles among themselves based on language and whatnot. Correct. Even though they all look alike. So what are we really talking about here when we start talking about the color thing? The color thing is always back to the white supremacists. And they did the dividing. They would say that, the, well, we'll let some of the lighter-skinned people do this. We'll let some of the darker people do this at this particular place at this particular time. And if you take places like what we call Brazil, mm -hmm. sometimes you can have a very dark-skinned person who is classified as white. That actually happens. A dark-skinned person classified as white for convenience over a person who is lighter skin, for convenience of whom? The white supremacists. They'll say, even though when I look at you, you're darker than this person standing next to you, we'll say that because of your education, temporarily, we'll classify you as white, even though you're darker than the person that you're standing next to. But we'll say that you're a white person, for convenience, for our convenience. It's good for business at this particular time. But then we will put it back in its proper place on a mass scale, in order that we don't confuse ourselves. After all, the masters of anything can't confuse themselves.